Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to read the disk using BIOS. If you want to execute some code that is located beyond your boot sector, you might want to be able to load more sectors of your disk to memory. Luckily, BIOS comes with a very simple way to read basically any kind of storage – floppy, hard disk, USB, you name it. Before talking about that, we need to introduce something called CHS addressing. You see, up until relatively recent times, the most common way of storing data was in hard drives. So BIOS uses an addressing that is designed for hard drives. Because of these, before actually talking about how to read from the disk, we're going to need a bit of an intuition of how hard drives work. This is a hard drive. Inside it, there is a platter and a head that can read both sides of the platter. As the platter spins, the head can read or write some data. A very common analogy is the one with a record player. The main difference is that we're reading digital data that is recorded by changing the magnetic orientation of the basic units of a hard drive, the so-called magnetic regions. Some hard drives can have more than one platter, read by different heads. Also, the hard drive is divided into cylinders, consisting of the concentric tracks of each platter, and each cylinder is divided into sectors. Each sector, just like the boot sector, is 512 bytes long. So all we need to know to read a sector from our disk is what cylinder it is in, what head we should read it with, and of course what sector we want to read. Hence the name of CHS addressing. In order to have something to read, I will define the character A 512 times after our magic booting number. Now we will read one sector from our disk. First of all, what information do we need? Well, we should know what disk we want to read, what cylinder, head and sector we want to read it from, how many sectors we want to read, and where in memory we want to load it. The disk we want to read is most likely the same disk from which we booted. Right after booting, the drive number is stored in the register DL. We might want to put it in a variable. As the boot sector is the first sector of cylinder 0 and head 0, we want to read from the second sector of the same head and cylinder. Yes, sectors start from 1, while heads and cylinders start from 0. Not sure why. How many sectors do we want to read? 1. Where do we want to load our sector? Well, wherever we like, really. But I think hex 7E00 might be a good idea, as it is right beside the memory we're currently using. Once we have all this information, we can use interrupt hex 13 using the following register values. AH must be 2. AL is the number of sectors we want to read, which is 1. CH is the cylinder number, which is 0. CL is the sector number, 2. DH is the head number, 0. DL is the drive number that we saved in a variable. ES, offset by BX, is a pointer to where we want to load the sectors. As I anticipated in the previous video, ES is the extra segment, and it's simply used to reach a higher number of memory locations. In this case, as hex 7E00 can be represented with 16 bits, we can just set ES to 0 and BX to hex 7E00. Then we simply need to call interrupt hex 13. Let's now try to print a value of memory address hex 7E00. As expected, it prints the letter A. One thing you might want to use this for is to extend the amount of real mode code we can write, which is now limited to 512 bytes. Now for today's exercise. Reading the disk might fail for various reasons. When it does fail, two things can happen. The carry flag, a special register used to signal faults and unsurprisingly whether a quotient has a carry or not, might be set to 1. Also, the AL register that should contain the number of sectors actually read might contain the wrong number. I would like you to check for both of these things in your code and print some kind of error message in both cases.